Good morning in progress. Can you do it now? Nope. Uh -huh. Very strange. Yeah. Um, um, I, I know when I was doing a lot of Zoom meetings, there was uh, an option when you were creating the meeting that it was something like audio only or audio and video. Are we confident that both the audio and video got selected? Let me check. Mm -hmm. So we can't see Brittany either. No, you have no video. From I get that same message you were talking about, Terry. Yeah. Very strange. Okay, I'm looking at the settings. Oh, okay. And, and it won't let me edit it because I'm in a, So do we, do we want to end it and let me change the settings real quick and then hop back on? You know, I think it's okay this way personally. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If nobody actually... else objects, you know, let's just yeah. go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, that sounds good. Well, I'm going to stop my video then. You don't get to look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be the only one in the spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, awesome. Let's see. I will share my screen if I can find it. I have the annual report up here somewhere. I just have too many oh, awesome. screens. Mm, there it is. Okay, so this is the final version of last year's annual report. Right. Totally. Awesome. This is the end, right? That's what? This is the end of the report. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was looking yeah. to make sure that everything was on there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tiffany. Yeah. The only the only thing, you know, this is talking about a, a what a 16 month yeah. report because the, the, it hadn't been done for years prior to this. So ours exactly. certainly doesn't need to be that long. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, that was one thing that was heartening seeing the minutes that Tiffany sent. I'm like, oh, this is significantly less minutes than we <laughs> yeah, have to look exactly. at. Exactly. <laughs> less, less year. And I looked back um, to see, because I noticed there's a section in here that talks about public, well, public comments. Uh-huh. I looked Yeah, back. I think that was is, is on every one of them. Each month, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we kind of templatized it and used, ended up using all of us because we, and I it was helped. Sorry, I didn't find that folder until just now. I thought I didn't have access to it anymore, but I was like, let me check. And I still had access to all the kind of preparatory materials that we made last year. Um, and yeah, there's even the smart sheets, or not the smart sheet, the spreadsheet in there still for how we divided um, the minutes. But we all kind of divided the minutes up and then use this template that Jenna, Jenna was honestly the leader on, on most of it, but we use this kind of template Jenna created so that we would all be consistent in how we recorded or kind of summarized the, the minutes. And, and we did rely a lot on um, the recordings also. Um, and yeah, and then we kind of, we, I think we met Tiffany, you might know better than me, but I think we met at least three times as a subcommittee to get it over the finish line to the point where we could present it to the full committee. Um, I think I remember that too, Brittany. Sorry to step in on that, Tiffany. Oh, I that's okay. Same thing. I appreciate awesome. that because all I have access to are, let me look here. Mm -hmm. The Well, it said that you met with the council in February. So was the report ready? By the time you met? Yes, yeah. I think we started earlier. Oh, okay. I think that's what it was. And well, I think we started earlier again because we were kind of off of the annual schedule. And now that we're on the annual schedule, we couldn't we couldn't really have started much earlier. Okay. I, there was, I see there was a January subcommittee meeting, but in 2021 there was two December subcommittee meetings. So there's probably three. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. 
Sweet. Well, this to me, this looks like it was pretty successful um, the way it was done. I would suggest we follow the same format. And, awesome. and uh, uh, you know, divide, divide the minutes up. There's, there's, what did I just count? Seven or nine, nine, I think, uh, different meeting notices. I'm awesome. trying to, my email is deciding it doesn't want to work. So, it's, okay. Maybe it's eight uh, that you oh, sent out, Tiffany. Okay. So, I'm looking at the Google Drive thing right now. Oh, good, it's good. Eight, eight different uh, meetings. So, awesome. um, I think the way, the way that it was handled last time worked very well. It was very succinct and to the point. And uh, I don't know why we would would do something different, just to do something different when this works so well. Okay. So I have, I have something disagree. Um, what? <laughs> I kind of disagree, but of course my dog immediately started barking. Uh, <laughs> um, my roommate just got home. Um, it seems to me I was looking at the full minutes. And it looks like none of them, there's one that was pretty big. Um, it was, and I think it was like February or March from the, uh, 2021. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm looking at the, the ones from the annual report and it seems like we're, we're um, like kind of bullet pointing things, but mm -hmm. the minutes themselves in most cases, other than that one month, where I think it was March, I'm gonna, I'm gonna for argument's sake, yes, it was, no, it was February. Um, the rest of them are only two or three pages. So doing this format to me seems a little redundant. It seems like we could really kind of summarize even more unless we want this detail, but it seems to me like, like if we're gonna have all of this information, people could just go see the minutes. That's my thoughts on it. Okay, well, I don't disagree with that, Carla. I'm just wondering yeah. how you would, how would you summarize it um, differently? Do we really need all of the detail? Like, like, do we need each one of the because, uh, like, I see here that we put, um, like, the policy that we looked at but very rarely do we say anything about the policy. We just say that we looked at it. So could we summarize those in a, here are the policies we looked at? Yeah, I was thinking maybe something higher level that says in 2022, Barry Lind was the chair, Terry was the vice chair. At the end of 2022, Terry became the chair. Um, Cindy was welcomed as a new member for, the committee part and then for the then when you get into the meetings so throughout the year we reviewed these policies and maybe list all the policies and we heard from the chief on these subjects it's kind of a really high level and that's good for me yeah yeah um no yeah that that sounds good to me too i wonder would we still want to pull so I think so in, in my memory of the last annual report, right, and, and I think that the, I mean, it's particularly the amount of public comment that we heard last year compared to this year in 2022 compared to 2021 was very different. Yes. Um, we had a lot more public comment in 2021 in the, the kind of months prior to that. Um, but I do think in terms of our kind of committee charge being sure that were capturing not just public comment, but also the business from the committee that folks bring up could be good to have just some kind, and that could just be another high level highlight um, that we go through and and kind of try to see if there are maybe just like patterns or themes from the the kind of public feedback we received as our in our role as liaisons for the community um that we could also include there somehow I, that's kind of what what made me think of it it was specifically the public comment is 
because if I'm somebody and I'm like, I want to, you know, maybe I'm, you know, the chief of police and I'm like, you know, I really want to know what the public is saying. They either have to go through each one of the minutes or they still have to go through each one of the months on this. Yeah. If we summarize them and, you know, and put, had a section for a public comment and then inside of there, like, yes, yes, exactly. If we see trends, like, you know, we had multiple comments about X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. So, um, give me one second. I'm going to bring up our last meeting's agenda. So, what if we break it up by these kind of sections? Business from the audience. Um, so, like this, and then the SPD update, um, and then committee business, policies, and member share. You I think that's that? a great idea. So, mm -hmm. let's see. And instead of having those be individual sections for each meeting, it would just be a summary of each of those sections for the year. Is that, am I understanding right. that right? That's right. Awesome. So like, okay, let me write this down. So we can call it public comments or or business, and then um, business from SPD, uh, business from the committee. And maybe we want to, it looks like um, the policy reviews are under the business from the committee. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we want to pull that out and have a separate section for policies we reviewed. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that going forward. And then would, are we saying, because I saw that you skipped the committee response number four, did, are we just putting, uh, oh. wrapping that into the, the, um, the community business? That's what I would think would be a good place for it. Okay. Just That's what I was thinking too. I just wanted to get clarity. Awesome. <laughs> So let me just write this down real quickly. So one section would be um, public comment and committee response. And the next uh, SPD update. Mm -hmm. um, and then business from the committee. And policies reviewed. Mm -hmm. And then member share. Yeah. Oh, so, and, good. okay. And then I think that it should have like kind of a general introduction kind of paragraph yeah. or something. Right. Yeah. I think we had an executive summary last time. Yeah. Time. And at the end, and it, or is that, was that at the beginning or the end? There's one at the beginning. beginning. Okay. Executive summary. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, what did we call the end? Uh, next steps in discussion. That's the other thing I, I was thinking that we as a group should look at. Like, did we address all of the things that we said we were going to address in the next steps and discussion? Well, I think that you can um, definitely maybe address in the executive summary how you did address the the last part, the role clarity with our the adopting of the goals. Oh yeah, that's perfect to, to put it as part of the executive summary. Yeah, and then um, it's up to you whether you want to bring this or other one uh, forward as a recommendation again or other recommendation. I think part of our responsibility is to give recommendations. Mm -hmm. but that was a hot mess of discussion. Yes, <laughs> it was. <laughs> it felt like they were they were taking it as like an edict when we were saying just our thoughts. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know if we can word it better. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah. And see, I mean, and maybe, you know, I, I would be curious to see if, yeah, after having some time to kind of digest the conversation and, yeah, how, how it might, the conversation might be different now. Um, and also there's other recommendations. I mean, we can always add. Right. To oh, the list sure. also. yeah. There could always be new 2022 ones or whatever. Exactly. So when, so I see seven sections of this. Um, and there's three of you. <laughs> Do we want to break it up by the section and have, assign it to, assign, assign each section to someone? Oh yeah, I kind of like that. So it's like we would still be reviewing the minutes and or recordings, but instead of focusing on just the months, we'd be focusing on the sections of the minutes. So we still wouldn't have to read the entire thing. Right. Right. Exactly. Okay. okay. Great. And you can do a high level summary of, you know, in 2022, we had 10 speakers from the public and they addressed they their these were their concerns and you know what I mean. And, you know, for policies reviewed will be really easy. This is the list of the policies we reviewed. And if there was any significant suggestions or issues from those could be added, but. Does anybody want to volunteer? For did you, Tiffany, did you uh, write those down or is yes. it, can you show us? Oh, uh, let me. The well, I gotta. You don't want to see this, so okay. So I wrote them down by hand. No, yeah, that's well, can you copy paste and then take out what you don't want from the agenda? Uh, it's PDF, so uh, oh, so you can, but the format it'll be super funny, yeah. Whoops. Okay. So maybe we want to do the five in the middle and then once we have those, we'll be able to build the executive summary and the next steps off of what we find. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Okay. I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, so these five we need to assign. So I am unemployed, and which means I have lots of time on my hands. So um, Terry and Brittany, if pick what you want, and I'll do the rest. I was just going to say the same thing, Carla. So <laughs> oh, Brit Brittany, why don't you pick what you would like to do? <laughs> Thank you, Brittany. That's so sweet. I have to say, I am working and applying to grad school right now, so it's a little bit of a personal life chaos mode. <laughs> um, but I can still, I'm thinking. And do you want to just take one since you're that busy and Carla and I can both take two? If you're willing, that would be, that would be amazing. Um, let me, and kind of in light of that since, well, let me see here. Um, maybe I'll do the public comment too, just because we had a little bit lighter of that this year. And I think some meetings we didn't have public comments. Yeah, there public. were a lot of meetings we didn't have a public comment, really. Yeah, the last few. Um, yeah. I've gotten lucky and not had to do that whole timer thing. I would, unless, Carla, unless you have a real hard one with this, I'd kind of like to do the policies review. Go for it. So now I'll let you pick one. Um, member share. I knew you were going to take that one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so I kind of want to do the SPD update. I'm afraid that I might summarize too much. Is that possible? Is it possible that I would summarize too much? Well, well if you do, we can we can always say we don't understand that or we don't think that the council would understand that. We can always revise that. Yeah, we can always revise it and cut it down and say, well, that's a little too much here on that subject or something like that. Right. Okay, yeah. Then I'll do the, up, the SPD update. Okay, well, then I get to do the business from the committee. Yay. <laughs> okay, what a good start. So efficient, amazing. Hey, and then I'm going to totally uh, muddy the waters. Since okay. we have this nice, great document going, uh -huh. uh, I'm assuming that you'll send to us. Yes. Underneath here, can we add another like next steps? We've so, got next steps. So like, when, when are we going to meet? Oh. <laughs> Yes. So how often do you want to meet? Um, so the council has not responded to me in regards to a date. Uh, they did say when I first emailed them at the end of our meeting last month, they're like, oh, thanks for bringing that up. We're setting the schedule right now. And then they never got back to me with the date. So I emailed them again today and said, hey, did you, are you going to put this on the calendar at some point for 2023? And I have not got a response yet. So right now, um, I think we have a little bit of time. I think we have um, probably at least February. Right. Because I think their calendar is pretty much set for February. Okay. Yes, it is actually. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, um, maybe the way to do this is, is if one of us decides it'd be good to meet with everybody again, we can go to you, Tiffany, and you can send out a meeting notice for everybody. Okay. Um, I don't know how quickly everybody's gonna jump on this. I need a deadline. Okay. <laughs> um, well, what do you think is reasonable for a deadline for your first draft? That's a good question. Well, for for the sake of Brittany, who's who is the busiest of all of us uh, combined, probably. <laughs> um, how about two weeks for the first draft? Okay. Does that yeah, sound that's, that's, my mind, Terry? Yep, that sounds perfect. Okay. Okay, so that would be. Do we want to keep stick to the same Thursday at six o'clock kind of meeting? Yeah. So that yeah, would be great. January nineteenth. January 19th, okay. Um, first draft for a section. I'm sorry, could we actually maybe do this the following Tuesday at the same time? Would that work for people? My uh, my birthday is the next day and I'm going to be out of town. I just <laughs> looked at my calendar and realized that. So what day is that, Brittany? The 24th? So, birthday, uh, so yeah, so it would be Tuesday the 24th instead. Uh, and I'm going to be out of town. Dang. We're, see, you're busy too, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> How uh, about the Wednesday the 18th? That would be good. That would work for me for sure. That'd I could do that too. Point. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So Wednesday, January 18th at 6 p.m. I'll uh, clean this up and make it a little prettier and send it to everybody. And then I will create um, a Zoom meeting for that date. And Excellent. yeah. Okay. One last question. Tiffany, can you advise on, like when we're creating our drafts of these summaries, mm -hmm. should we be, is there one, is there any like public records we need to be aware of? Do we need to be like sharing them with you? afterwards or no I'm, I don't know I think I'm only the the well I think only the final draft would be public record but I can awesome. check. okay okay great and then to that, to that question though do we want to do a folder like the one you shared with us Brittany for 2022 yeah yeah let me I can actually just make one really quick right now well, I was wondering if Tiffany needed to do that. Oh, that's a good point. Um, who do you know who created this other one? 
So it was actually Jenna. That's why I was about to jump yeah. on it and do it when she was a committee member. But if, yeah, so either way, I'm, I'm happy either way, as long as it's okay for me to do it, I'm happy to do it. Yeah, if Jenna did it, then I think, and we could actually probably from this link use this folder. Um, let's see, hold on. Oh yeah, well, I could, I could reorganize it. Um, yeah. And let me see if I can change the, can I change the name? Well, yeah, it looks like to me that you could, so I can just change it to SPAC annual report and then make a SPAC 2021 and then put all these, that would be yeah. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. I will do that right now. I'm not sure who Todd Hamilton is. Yeah. He has a Springfield school district email address, but I, oh, but I don't know who that is either. Odd. No. Well, okay. Huh, well, maybe we should start a new folder because it, it if I'm looking at the access on this, it says that Todd, Todd Hamilton is the owner. Yeah, did Jenna, I'm wondering if it got transferred to him because, did Jenna leave the school district? She did. Okay, that, I bet that's what happened. That would so, be my guess. So maybe we should start a new folder because otherwise then the school district <laughs> has access to this and they don't. I mean, I know that there is a new person who hasn't, that they've assigned, but still, I don't know that, are we comfortable with that? They haven't come to any of the meetings yet, have they? No, yeah. no. Nor and, have they acknowledged anything about the meetings? No. Because I know you send out meeting notices and things, and I know that you must include them. Yeah, I do. So, oh, interesting. yeah, I think he's a pretty busy guy, and I was kind of surprised that they appointed him as the one that would be going into the meetings. Because mm -hmm. he's like the, I don't know what if they called it. A CEO or whatever he is, the director. He's like one of the head people over there. Yeah, he's kind of higher up. I was surprised too when I read about him. Yeah. So, oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. Brittany, if you're comfortable with creating a new drive, that'd probably be a good idea. Awesome. I will. Let me. I have already started. Let me share it all with you. Hey, Carla, can I have your phone number? 541-870-1867. Thank you. Brittany, can I have yours? Yeah, of course. It is 503-703-6735. And Tiffany, I already have yours. Yeah. I have your number, Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. And then hopefully I just put the link in the chat to the folder I created, and then I also emailed it to everyone here. Okay. All right, I'm in. Sweet. <laughs> I'm trying to get in. I had... My Google on the police department's Google instead of under my email. It's just too many accounts. Too, I, yeah, I can really. <laughs> I do fine with that till I start emailing and then I'm emailing <laughs> from my private account or the or vice versa. People are like, well, who are you? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay. Do you want me to put, um, oh my goodness, I have to create a new password. Um, do you want me to put all of the meeting minutes in this folder or? That would be awesome. And the, um, oh crap, now I just changed the password for the police account. I can do that. I can do it right now. Well, you're <laughs> <a second. laughs> okay. Perfect. 
I am finally in, but I am not in yet. So. Ah, there it is. Tika. Now I just got 14 emails from Google. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> With the dual authentication now. Yeah. Oh, very exciting. Okay. Very strange. I see that she's you're starting to put the minutes in. Okay, so is there anything else that we can think of, or are we good? I feel good. Harry, okay. anybody else? Carla? I'm I'm good. Well, I think I'm good too. Um hmm. Brittany, I have one question. You sent this folder, the shared folder, you sent it to me. Mm -hmm under a Gmail account that I don't ever look at. Oh, do you want me to send it to a different email address? Yeah, do you mind? Of course not, no. Let me, what, yeah, go ahead. If you just tell me. It's just Terry, Terry dot Dillon. So T-E-R-R-I dot D-I-L-L-O-N at awesome. Comcast dot net. At Comcast dot net. Oh, sorry, Jerry, that's when I sent it to you. Let me try again. That's cool. Thank you. Well, it might have got sent there because I have another Google Drive account. So that is in that oh, that I never look God. at. So oh, totally. totally. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you have to create a Google Drive account with a Gmail or do or no, you don't because I just did it with the Fleet Spartan one. Um, yeah, as long as you have a, a Google account, it'll get you mail, the anything yeah. shared the drive and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if folks have issues with access, I'm happy. You can email me too, and I'm happy to or text now that you have my phone number. Sounds um, good. Yeah, and I can help. I can also. There's also ways I can just share the link again, um, and I can see if I can play around with the share settings on the link to be sure you can get in there. And Terry, if you have issues, um, I'm happy to hang out. We could do a screen share at some point and okay. see that, Sounds good. that wouldn't work. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Or we could go have lunch again and just bring our computers and do it. And that'd be good too. <laughs> I'm probably one of the least technical people on this conversation. So yeah, because it did make me log into my Google Drive account with my work email address and, okay. and I did, couldn't remember my password because it's been like a year since I got in there and so I had to reset my password yeah oh got it okay we'll get it figured out
Yeah, it just keeps telling me that I'm still in the Tika Ming account, uh, Google account. So maybe maybe it doesn't come in. Well, if you oh. down on the bottom where it has the email address, mm -hmm. if you click on that, you can change it to your Terry, your Comcast one. So Tiffany, can can we get Terry to do a screen share? Can you can we let her do that? Um we can't do that because I we can't get into Zoom. Well, but, well, but can you do screen share? Let me see if I could stop sharing. And... It looks like that, that feature is activated. Yeah, I think you're right. I can't. Yeah. It says that hosts right. and panelists can share. Yeah, it's yeah. allowed. It's I I haven't actually hit the share button, but it's letting me at least get to there. Yes. Yeah. You know what? I'll just go ahead and go into that that Google account or Google Drive accounts that I do have. So let's not worry about it right now. Okay. Yeah. Whatever, whatever works for you. Yeah. Just tell her if if I can help in any way. Okay. Thank you. Of course. All right, well, if that is it, I think that we're done for tonight. Sounds good. Okay. Awesome. All right. well, it was well, good talking to you all. Yeah, have a good evening, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. You guys, too. Happy you birthday, too. Brittany. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. I'll see you all in a couple weeks. Have a great one. Have okay. a good night. Bye. Bye-bye.